Okay, guys, so I'm going to um, show you something that's a little bit controversial. Um, a lot of people, you know, will say that you shouldn't put something like this out there and let people know how to do this, but I say there are a couple good reasons. Um, number one being that um, some people actually do get locked out of their phones. Uh, I don't think it happens often, and honestly, if it happens to you, you probably shouldn't own a smartphone because that's little bit of an oxymoron there um, but I'm sure it does happen and so because of that um, some people can't access their phones uh, another big reason is a lot of people get scammed uh, I know I've seen a lot of Craigslist ads that say you know my son or my daughter bought this phone didn't know anything about things being locked um, person took their money and then they won't respond and you know you're either out the money or uh, whatever you traded and that's my daughter and uh, um, she actually, you should all support um, and celebrate Down syndrome. My daughter actually has Down syndrome, so that's something that's very important to me. Um, anyway, uh, going back to it, um, there are people that you know get scammed where they're trading, whether they're buying and they lose out on that, and they want to get you know into that phone obviously they just paid or traded something um, and the third is to take money out of the pockets of the people who are exploiting people um, with things like this um, and using it to make money off of them um, for bypasses and things like that I just think that's you know kind of ridiculous and you know why not if you're gonna do it help people instead of taking away from people um, and also so you know hopefully Sam cut sign Samsung could say a uh, hold of this video and they can uh, implement in the next uh, security feature um, and security patch a way to uh, alleviate this. Um, that makes us safer and that makes our phones safer and I'm all about that. So um, hope you enoy. you guys can subscribe uh, if you want I'll be posting more videos obviously in the future. Um, I just want to clarify one thing as well. I didn't follow a tutorial for this. I didn't you know get online and look up how to do this. I actually found this so um, it's it's nice and bad to kind of find things like this and to be able to find a uh, workaround for a security feature um, because it's somewhat scary how easily somebody can you know bypass something that's supposed to protect you um, and so hopefully this you know gets taken care of in the next patch like I said um, but yeah let's get to it so I'm going to show you how to bypass your FRP or your Android uh, Google lock and this is with the newest update so this is the June 1st 2016 security patch I'm on Android 6.0.1 on a Verizon um, Galaxy S7 Edge. Um, and so I'm just going to show you right now exactly how to do this. Okay, so we are going to want to power off. boot into data reset and that's going to be the up volume the power and the home button all at the same time that's going to bring you here this is just to show you that you know I'm wiping it with a uh, Google account link to it um, it's also got the uh, swipe security feature enabled You're just going to go down to wipe data, data factory reset. Yes. And let it do its thing. Okay, now we're going to reboot the system. And this does involve um, having to turn on and off your internet. And so I suggest using another phone's mobile 
data connection, a hotspot. It's a lot easier. I'm going to show you. I'm actually going to use my home internet, enable and disable. This is extremely simple. I mean, it it's ridiculous. And Samsung needs to uh, do a, a security patch on this. Um, I believe in having secure phones. So as much as that hurts some of us, it protects a lot of us. Okay, so we're just going to hit next. On the Wi-Fi, <clears throat> we do sausage fingers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna connect. Next, and this is gonna take a little bit, but then it will update to updating. The screen should go dim as it switches over to updating, and then it will come back with the uh, request for the uh, previous account that was on this, which I have and can get into, obviously. But that's not what you came here for. Did I mention it takes a while? Only on the first time. When we come back the second time. There we go, and software update. And this is where you're actually going to hit your Wi-Fi off, right when it switches that screen. But this is just to show you. Okay, this device was reset to continue, sign in with the Google account. Obviously, you guys don't have one. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go back to the Wi-Fi. And I'm just going to forget the network so that it resets it. And this is the fun part. Type in that password. Connect. Okay, so you're going to want to have your finger pretty close to turning off that power. So whether you're using a mobile hotspot, whether you're turning off your modem, um, you're going to want to be able to do it. I actually have my foot on a power switch. So, going to hit next. And as soon as this turns right now, turn off the internet. So it says no Wi-Fi connection. And what that's going to do, it's going to let you go to this next screen. Yeah, see? See we're in? We got past the uh, warning message. And then we're going to hit next. And you're going to want to turn on your Wi-Fi. And as I'm on an actual modem, it's going to take a minute. I don't want to set up that. No thanks. You just skip all of this. Okay, you get to here. And you want to scroll down to the bottom. Now wait for your Wi-Fi to come on, because if you don't, and you hit privacy, it's going to tell you you're not connected to the internet. <clears throat> so this will take a minute for my Wi-Fi to get back up and connected. And that would be my daughter, who is extremely excited about letting people get into their devices. Like I said, if you're using a mobile phone and a mobile hotspot, your internet will be up much faster than this. I'm just waiting for my internet to connect back. 
which is going to take a minute. Oh, there we go. So then you want to click on Privacy Policy. And I'm going to let this video run in its entirety so you, nobody says, oh, you cut and you did different things with the video. Because no, no, I didn't. <clears throat> Come on. There we go. And then just scroll down to some text that you can copy. So I'm just going to go to Google, put my finger on there, hold it, click share. So what you're going to do is, as you see, setup wizard, hold setup wizard. And this is really easy. Go to storage, clear data, delete, and then go back, click for stop. And that's it. Just go back, close, and now you'll see when I click next, it's going to glitch into the system. You see? Already passed. Click skip. Done. Skip. And this is where it gets kind of interesting. So it's still into the not signed in, and you can't get past this, you can't get to the home screen. But what you can do is you can get to any app. You can do everything besides get to the home screen. But at this point, you don't have to do anything. So all you have to do, hold your power button, restart. Yeah, I know. This is good to the good stuff. And you are officially in. You don't have to set up. That bass bypasses the setup completely. Swipe, and you're into your phone. Um, it's got no accounts. Just wipes the account totally from it. Um, go in and see. It's still. Go to accounts. There's going to be no accounts. You can add your own account. But it's completely, uh, completely wiped it. And you are back to a factory reset phone, and you can add your account and use your phone exactly as you would. So, I hope this helps some people out. I hope it takes some money out of pockets, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'll be posting other videos on Android devices, probably some iOS devices, things like that in the future. Um, but yeah, there you go. That's how to bypass the FRP or the Google lock on Samsung devices. So hopefully you guys enjoyed.